Welcome back to Honey Badger 3D Print and Paint. Today, we're looking at Gambody's Chevy Impala build, sponsored by Rep Rapper. But before we do that, roll those credits. Right, so, Gambody's Chevy Impala. Um, when I see this, and I see how much detail was in it when I looked at it on Gambody, I was like, that's, that's a crazy amount. As soon as I started printing it, I had immediate flashbacks to the war rig, because it's that bad, but probably a bit worse, because of how many parts are included in this. Now, Rep Rapper have sponsored this video, and they sent us four kilos of their grey PLA. And I'll show you some of the parts on this because it is printed absolutely amazing. Now, I've just temporarily fitted the door onto the wing now. All of these parts, I've got to say, they just came out amazing. So the tyres. Tyres, I went for TPU. We've got two here, one with a wheel hub in it, one on its own, came out really well, took a little bit of tuning, but they bounce, proper tyres. Now, when I do something like this, and it's got a crazy amount of parts, a lot of the parts on this are very small, or very delicate. Now, what I do is I don't strip all my parts up once they're finished printing. What I tend to do, when I've got parts that are really delicate, like this, I leave them on. I always print them on a raft, and leave them on and don't take them off the supports. Reason being, one, I won't lose a piece. Two, I won't break a piece. But when it comes to building this, and building something like this takes a while. Um, it's a case of sitting there with a the Gambody build video in front of you, Playing it, doing a step, rewinding a bit, doing a step, rewinding a bit, does take quite a long time. Because in between that as well, you're painting it. So if you can leave all the small parts, like this, like this, on, it means you can have them parts around you when you're doing it. As you need a part, you take it off. That way you don't lose anything and you don't break anything. That's the way I do it. It's up to you. Now, we have test fitted some of this as well. Um, this is one bit that's left in piece. Well, it was, it's not now. Um, from what we've tested so far, this goes together really well. Um, unfortunately, in order to test part, test fit it together, you can't actually move it around. It's a case of test, leaving it sitting in place, so I couldn't show you that. That being said, it is now all done. There are a few more pieces which I did, which we did in resin. Um, reason being is there was, they were very, very small and they were very, very detailed. And we did, I did try printing them on a couple of different printers, but the quality just wasn't what I wanted. So they are things like the windscreen wipers, a couple of little caps that hide parts, and obviously the lenses for the lights. Um, so we're printing all the lenses in clear resin or red resin, um, so that they look authentic. The windows, don't ask us about the windows yet. We have not actually now done a final decision on what we're doing with the windows. It will have windows, we just don't know how yet. But that is what we're looking into now. So keep an eye on this because the next stage in this as Replicote, you may have seen them on some of the some Facebook groups, have sponsored the next part of this video. Now this is going to be coated in Replicote's resin, which should give a perfect smooth finish. Like uh, I couldn't argue with the finish that's on there now. Um, you know, it's lovely. 
But in order to make this car look authentic, it needs to be super smooth. One for black paint, because the black paint will show up every little mark that's on it. So the replica should remove any of that and we should get a perfectly black glossy finish. And also chrome parts, chrome likes to show up any problems as well. So part two of this video, sponsored by Replico, that will be coming soon. So keep an eye on the channel. Don't forget to like and subscribe. We've got stacks of videos coming out soon. Couple of brilliant ones. So keep an eye on the channel and we'll see you next time. Thanks a lot. Bye.